This is a follow-up video to the video that I made last week about visual cryptography. And a viewer asked the question if we can also extend the visual cryptography component in Crypto2 so that it allows the encryption of images. And over the last week, that's what I did. I implemented the visual cryptography for images. And I'm here right now in Crypto2 and I want to present how you can encrypt pictures using the visual cryptography. So I first search for visual, for visual cryptography, and then I open the workspace. And if you do not know what visual cryptography is, I highly suggest that you first have a look at the last week's video where I introduce visual cryptography and how it works. So let's have a look at visual cryptography here. So this is what we had last week. You can enter a text here into the plain text input, for instance, hello world. And this component here then, the visual cryptography component, live, encrypts the text and splits this encrypted um, image or it creates an encryption by splitting it into two different images. And when you overlay these images here, then you get the plain text. And this actually also works when you print out these two parts and overlay these. And what we do here in that workspace, we overlay these images using the image processor. So far, we had this last week. So we encrypted text, but we can change this and then take a file input here. I searched here for file and then we connect the file input to the visual cryptography component. And then we need a test file. And my test file is this logo here. And that is the Cryptool logo. And we open this with the file input. And now let's have a look at the visual cryptography uh, component. Now you see we have a threshold value. And the threshold is used for converting the color image to a black and white image. As you can see here, we only have white, this is a gray um, or painted part here, and black, these are the black pixels here. And of course, with images, we can only do the same. So we have to convert each color image like this one here, which is blue, white, and so on, to a black and white image. And the threshold is used to know from which color or which um, color value we want to go to black and from which color value we want to go to white. And what the component does at first, it converts this here to a grayscale image. So this image then has grayscale from zero to 255. So we have 260, uh, 256 colors, but in gray. And then the threshold tells us un uh, until this value, please take white. And after that value, please take black. And the threshold here is set to 128. It's, this is exactly in the middle of the grayscale scale. And now when I press play here, you can see we have the crypto logo here. And as usual, you can use the visual cryptography component and you can live overlay these images here. And then when they are perfectly aligned, when the image is very big, this is a little fiddly, but there's a trick. You just click here and then using big steps with this scroll bar, you can go exactly to the middle. And then when these images are ex overlaid exactly, then you can see the plain text image. And of course, same happens here. These images are um, ended with the end operator, and then you can see the original plain text image. And now we'll have a look at the threshold value. So for instance, when I go to 50, I think maybe we, can, we can't see the logo then, we will see. Yes, here you see, you only see some parts, the, the darker parts of the image. And when we go to the original threshold, we should see the image again. But of course, when we go to higher values like 200, we will see more of the logo. And when we go even further, let's go to 225, then we nearly see everything here. And let's go to 250. <laughs> and now you, you see, we, we see this complete icon then as a black area here. Yeah, and this is what we added 
over the last week to the visual cryptography component. I think it's really nice. So you can now encrypt images, print these out, and then, for instance, send one part to a friend and then give the other part to the friend and then he or she can overlay these and have a look at this. So this is everything I wanted to show you with the visual cryptography in this short video. So <laughs> feel free to test it uh, by yourself. It's available, of course, in the nightly build. And there's another thing that I want to talk about shortly in this video. And this week was really nice for me because this happened here. The deciphering three diplomatic letters sent by Maximilian II in 1575 article was published. And this article, as, as the name suggests, is about deciphering original historical letters from the Roman Emperor, the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian II from the 16th century. And my colleague Michel Waldespühl and I wrote a nice paper about that. And here I, um, you, you see this paper. And the, the nice thing with this paper also is that it's available open access. So you can read it for free. And I will link below this video. This is very interesting. This was a really nice project. And to be honest, we deciphered these letters using Crypto2. So these letters were homophonic substitution ciphers with nomenclature elements, and we could use Crypto2 to decipher these letters. And we also used this project to improve our analysis tools in Crypto2. And of course, I want to make a long video about this, or maybe even several videos, I'm not sure yet, and I want to spend some more time for the creation of these videos. So these will come later on uh, this channel and be uploaded. So, um, But if you <laughs> want to know more at this time or at this stage, you can, of course, read this article. I highly recommend that you have a look at this. And we have, for instance, in this article, original pictures of um, the um, ciphertext. And I think in the, in the video, I am I cannot upload these. So when you want to see these in original size, you have to read this article here and you have to go to the web page. But it was really an interesting story. But details on this later. Yeah, and this is everything for today. And uh, yeah, try the visual cryptography component on your own. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.